Sorry. Gotta have the mic. There we go. Anywho, as you can tell, we are on crossing in the woods here. These peaceful woodlands will soon be turned into a battlefield as our players get ready for war. Let's uh, introduce our players. Here we have Karabas and his teammate, Komizan, both playing as the Soviet Union. Komizan, he has locked in counterattack tactics. Let us introduce the Axis team. We got when the rage quit happens and his teammate, Colts44. Let's see, rage quit. He is going for defensive doctrine here. What? And yes, we'll definitely have a team game full of us troopers, apparently. Hmm. Well, 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 I think that's a... Uh, is that the first time I see us troopers in team games? Could be. And of course, plenty troopers are on their way. And I have heard that you can actually count on them. No, really, you can. Let's see if there's anything interesting happening here with Komi-san and the gang. Oh, that's a quite early uh, support weapons company. Huh. Early Maxim to help uh, keep the uh, <laughs> the Germans at bay. Um, yeah, first engagement there, not really that much else going on. Uh, let's have a quick look at the bulletins. Colts HMGs to fire faster, faster pack ground production, and the pencil grenadiers have increased accuracy. Rage quit, cheaper mines, otherwise buffs for the grins. Carabas, he's got all the buffs for his conscripts. Komisan, he is buffing his T-34s, making them reload faster, extra armor, and the uh, maximum machine gun reloads faster. Speaking of which, looks like it is ready to fire. Though, um, oh, 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 trouble in brewing. They are not benefiting from the green cover here by, by the looks of it. <laughs> and despite a long burst, it did quite take some time to get some suppression in, but, uh, getting flanked here and also gunned down by this HMG. Komisan is not off to a wonderful start. That would be, um... A lie if I said that <laughs> and he is all the way pushed back allowing him um, Colt here to move up and grab the would-be cutoff point let's have a look at rage quit how is he faring oh Carabas has even laid down some uh, green cover for him to use how nice of him however this green cover over here is the death trap remember flamethrowers they do extra damage versus units in green cover Back to base well mortar on its way there wow mm -hmm. and are we gonna see some extra us trooping usually people tend to go for four. Oh, here comes the flank we have a little bit of support there but it's us trooping and they are severely outgunned and look at that molotovs early grenade tech for carabas and he is now definitely pushing back rage quit here sort of like a little bit of the same situation we had over here where cold managed to push back komisan but komisan he has launched a counter offensive here oh not even fully uh fully reinforced he also got some uh, early grenade tech here uh but he didn't manage to get the HMG to retreat. Oh. Okay, that's some decent barbed wire by the looks of it. It's a little difficult to get in there and utilize all the cover. <clears throat> oh, you need to be quick if you want that set up and ready. Oh, might get it. Yes. Oh, oh no. As just as he squished the trigger, the gunner got shot. Hmm. Oh, he does make a safe retreat. Yeah, we also got mortar here. Wow. Yeah, double mortar for the axis. Huh. Already gotten six kills? Damn. 
If it keeps it up like that, uh, the entire Soviet Union army will be annihilated. Oh, running in negative cover. Not what you want to do. But then again, look at all these numbers here. The numbers! They mean that you are getting outgunned and probably will die if you stay. Karabas locking in Soviet shock army. Giving him access to the uh, bigger T-34 and also, you know, shock troops. Speaking of which, they're just being dispatched to the field. Mm -mm -mm. If they can get up close, they'll definitely chew up uh, the Ostrup in here, which uh, were nerfed in the recent patch. So they're no longer this uh, killing machine that they used to be. Plus, their uh, LMG upgrade costs a little bit more now. Right. As this battle rages, Komi-san is also making a move over here, but let's just see the shock troops. Yeah, since them running back, this HMG here not quite in position and oh boy. Yeah, rage quit just happens to quit this side of the map. As Karabas pushes him off, let's see, Komi-san, he will have as much success as his teammate get some suppression in there but here comes the uh, komisan's flank he is trying to get that machine gun what the half track oh right it's not getting its flame projectors yet Ow. a little bit of a drunk drive there from the half track <laughs> oh boy Komisan has already brought out the big gun. One more shot. Didn't quite get it. Another one needed. He is within range. Fire. Got it. Hmm. More shock troops. Well, well, well. Both of them now going for shock troops. Looking to melt the Axis infantry. Mm hmm. Also, pack gun. Out for cold. Well, a little bit early by the looks of it. Usually you should expect um, a T-70 around in the 9 minute mark. But then again, maybe he thought an M5 would show up. But uh, there's not much tech in uh, the Soviet base. Anywho, LMG versus the Maxim here. Uh-oh, they can't stay in that building for long. Burn by fire be purged. Hmm. Ah, going back inside the building. Not good when um, the flamethrower is still there. <laughs> but then again, if you're not in the building, that just leaves it open for, <laughs> you know, the combat engineers to get in there and uh, do their thing. Pinned. Oh, look at this HMG making a killing when they were up close. 11 kills nice but sticking around there in the flames proved not to be lethal apparently hmm right komisan he has taken this territory here but can he defend it now that the uh, colt is heading out on the field ready to grab that land meanwhile Battle is definitely brewing over here with Caravas and the Rage Quit has rejoined the fight. He is getting his Panzer Grenadiers on the field now and they are definitely willing to go toe to toe versus these shock troops here and they are clumped up. That's a good candidate for a bundle grenade but look at this scaring off that mortar the little mini nuke. Are they still yeah the hmg looks like they managed just to crawl out of range oh a bundle grenade there probably anticipated a retreat but ha, jokes on you you ought to run retreating meanwhile cold just grabbing some territory We've got team weapons there defending the flank should he come closer 
Meanwhile, Kumasan is this busy here trying mopping up the middle beautifully. And he is what is he doing? Is he going over to help his teammate out or is he just cutting right through here? Oh looks like there is a little bit of a gathering down there. Oh yes, he thought he could go in here and flank, but was met with numerous Ostruppen. And one grand squad. Oh well, looks like the HMG there. What is my mouse cursor doing? Select, select, select this and that. <laughs> Grenadiers. They could just take position behind the green cover there or you know just a garrison whatever works is that free windows yeah should be good enough meanwhile look at this komisan coming in dancing a little bit around the hmg founds the weapon crew here unguarded apparently yeah a little bit of help is now on the way fuel cash has gone up there for a rage quit Bringing extra fuel in for the fatherland. Kaboom! Well, here's the exterminator. They'll be uh, dislodging these conscripts squad here with the greatest of ease. Unless they're actually getting focused down, but let's just see. Ah, that was a good burst. Huge health damage taken there. And they can't take any more health damage with <laughs> before it dropping models as a scene. This mortar... Oh, we got double mortar for Carabas. How about his teammate? Just one. And that's the uh, 82. Just a regular Soviet mortar. Since he cannot call it in. Just his teammate. So. 12 minutes. Cold. Yeah, there we go. Getting the tech in. Rage quit already done. So... Boom, and I can definitely hear the mortars raining down. Oh, that's why they hit. Going toe to toe here. Oh, negative cover for both of them. The Pigrens will win this one. There we go. We're getting a Stuk E on the field. The discount Brumbear. Hmm. Yeah, Caravaz, when we look at his AG options, he's got none <laughs> unless the the mortars here actually managed to do some work oh that's actually uh, the german mortar that he captured okay so it's not the mini nuke <laughs> see there that was um mortar doing damage <laughs> to this uh Stuki and there and it's that damage from the mortars actually um enabled the conscripts to get the engine damage in as the mortar just did enough damage Right, let's check in. Komisan, what are you up to? You got the green cover, fighting Colt 44, grabbing the fuel over there. Mortar, oh oh, that's a flare in the sky. Granting vision, and of course, spots that mortar there. Colt, he is falling back now. Back in base here, Komisan got the mechanized armor company up, and very little tech from Caravas. We do see. He decided to build his support weapons company all the way over there. <laughs> Let's see Brumbear here. Well, not Brumbear. <laughs> Stuggy! Four kills and it's presumably about to be repaired. LMG's also been issued. Oh, he also lost at some point a um, Ostruppen squad. Yeah, Rage Quit is not doing so hot. Well, at least he's got his uh, Stuggy. That sounded like smoke grenade. Oh! <laughs> Colt missing. The rifle grenade there. Oh, <laughs> and you managed to set up a negative cover. Mm. Well, with all this fire going in on this garrison here, yeah, those shock troops won't last long. We got another. Stuggy strolling onto the field. Let's see. Carabas. He has gotten out a Cisco now to help him. And there is a good Telemine there. 
four rage quit. Hmm. Whoa! I know this map is called Crossing in the Woods, but you don't have to drive straight into the trees. Meanwhile, the broom bears, at least this one here, found itself in a little bit of trouble. It can't back off. Con just can't continue to back off anymore. Oh no, wrong way! You gotta get yourself cornered! Oh no, and now comes the conscripts for the engine damage. They are a little bit clumped up, but I don't think he'll be able to get a shot off in time. Oh, he actually did. Carabas just waking up after taking the hit. Meanwhile, the S mind have convinced the Siskan not to move any further. Don't move, guys. We're standing right on top of a minefield. <laughs> <laughs> Stuki is, as predicted, cornered. And the rest of the gang here is trying to relieve them. But they are making slow progress. Just about now, it is trying to fire over. Yes, it actually managed to do so, but that was a terrible overshot. <laughs> Got rid of the green cover there, nicely done. Meanwhile, Komi-san, he sends his bird in the sky as he is trying to make a push over here. Trying to get the fuel going. Let's see, Carabas, he's like, nice patch. Can't move my AT. Huh? Oh! It somehow got stuck when it entered the S mine field. Or maybe it was just the troops disobeying his order and like, ah, ah, sorry, chief, we're not moving. <laughs> not when we're standing in a freaking minefield. Hey, Stuki is alive. Ah, Colt bringing out his own uh, medium armor here. And yeah, Komisan and his teammate Carabas have yet to get any armor on the field. Oh, 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 B4. Neato! Let's see it turn tanks into Cheeto. Ah, uh, Ostwin. Five kills. Nicely done there. Also, mines have been laid there by Yakomi-san. Yeah, Should any tanks decide to zig in there? The Siskons joined the fight here. Caravas, he, yeah, he lost his Siskan due to um, its unwillingness to move, so he's gonna have to reinvest, like 300 manpower, 320 manpower into another Sis, perhaps even two, or nah, okay, he's he's getting his tanks up, well, make a nice armor company here, and he's got fuel to go. <clears throat> Another Ostwin for Colt. Well, if Komisan isn't careful, these Ostwin might be able to swoop around the Sis guns and kill them. But nope, not the case this time around here. With the two Sis guns that uh, Komisan is fielding, it's bye bye Ostwin. We got a little bit of B4 action. Uh, infantry kill. Okay, it wasn't the, <laughs> the one that took out the Ostwind. Oh boy, flank action. Dead and gone. The Maxim has been decrewed. Is he going to try to steal that while on the fire? Yes, he is. I was in a grenade on that negative cover. That's dangerous. Dodged sort of by Colt. He did take a lot of health damage. And dead again. That body armor didn't save them. More like dead weight. These shock troops are very aggressive. Oh boy. Artillery strike. Ah, oh, he's just gonna walk away. Let's split up, gang. And thus they avoided that artillery. With ease. <clears throat> Carabas. He's had enough of Siskons and like, I am getting an SU-85. Good old reliable. 
Though he could just have gone for a um, G85 here. That's also a solid choice versus the um, the Stugies. Hey, look at that one. Got its side skirts on. It has been rewarded for its efficiency. Komisan getting another recon over flight in. Let's see if Colt's Black Panzer here is gunning for it, but can it get it? It's not quite as powerful as an M5 port mount, but it gets the job done. And netted itself a little bit of XP in the process. Battle phase free and the B4 on demoli demolition duty. Here comes another shell. Whew, getting a little dangerous there, isn't it? With two kills, two infantry kills. <laughs> Not really any armor kills yet, but I'm pretty sure that the Axis team has gotten the message. There's a B4 on the field and it is extremely dangerous. Panzerwerfer for rage quit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see, some good targets for rocket artillery. Mm, plenty of infantry there. Yummy, just what the Panzerwerfer wanted. rat a tat tat giving chase here. Chase him down, boys. The LMGs cannot fire on the move. Oh, but the Ostwin comes in to save the day. Where are the SIS guns? They are getting in position now. Open fire, that's the first shot. Second going in, third reloading. Alrighty then. Ostwind can still range the SIS guns. Not quite. But he's not taking any chances. Doesn't want to lose another one that fast. Oh, rifle grenade on the SIS gun, but it will of course survive because <laughs> those Soviets' bodies are sturdy. And but what I was going to say is there are six men, and it's very unlikely for a rifle grenade to take out um, six men when they're this scattered. Pack gun should be considered packing up. Fall back, fall back. Meanwhile, the Sh Stugies have retired to the woods and decided, oh, I just want to be a tree. But nope, the commander here, rage quit. He's like, get back into the fight and start firing. Fire away. Close shot there for the pack gun. Oh, that guy died. <laughs> now up to three kills. Well, getting a kill for each time it does a barrage would be nice <laughs> if it were more valuable than just a single infantry kill. <laughs> oh, well. Let's um, keep an eye on the B4, see how it performs. And... The SU 85 is completely focused as it's got the Stugies inside and they are backing off. Fire with fire here and the Ostrupen coming in. Hey, that's cheating, guys! Okay, thanks, bye. See you later. And now we got some regular good old fashioned medium tank on the field for Karabas Komisan. Let's see. Well, he's got plenty of fuel, but he has yet to invest it into tanks. Well, this one does have frets, but I wouldn't exactly call it a tank. <laughs> a sandbag, which... Neat. Though, stay out of the meat. It's a uh, stick to your gut. Or gums. Uh, double Panzerwerfers here. The joy of team games. <sighs> Artillery galore commence! And... Then again, we are, of course, on so on camping in the woods. <laughs> so, shouldn't be too surprised that we're seeing this much artillery. Well, looks like we got a little bit of a decrease when it came to artillery as the mortar got taken out there. Boom! Off, trying to focus down these boys, but now Stuki chipping in as well with some damage there. Uh, they have yet to be repaired. You should get on that just for good measure. Fire! Ooh! Hoo, hoo, hoo. B4. 
<laughs> Look, it got another infantry kill. Another one. <laughs> this makes it two. Two infantry kills for this barrage. It's really upping its game, isn't it? Stuggies. They do the damage, but not the bleed. The bleed! That's where the money is at. Meanwhile, oh boy. Komisan trying to take cover behind the green cover as this HMG from cold is trying to make these bodies dead cold. Oh, flamethrower here. They have to run away. There's an LMG and an HMG trying to target them as they're trying to make their escape. But looks like they will be just fine. Cold, however, making progress in the middle. I do hear Panzerwerfer firing, but the middle is not it. And what is that we're getting out there for Komisan? It looks like a KV-1. Heavy boy. Oh boy. What's going on? We got uh, some AT guns here pushing away the SU-85. <clears throat> oh. Let's see some field artillery here perhaps. No. Not yet. And these Stuggies have yet to be repaired. Hello! Flag Panzer in a little bit of danger there. Siskan is tracking. Not enough to take it out though. And now Colt is getting out a Panther. Stuggies. Oh! Repairing while under fire. That's a dangerous occupation. Hope they get hazard pay for that. But I doubt it. And now we got KV-1 on the field unfortunately the commander has chosen a quite a white one here probably better suited for winter oh well oh destroying your own green cover whose side are you on anyway we got something activated here at sector artillery stay out of our fuel and vps what Oh, a plane, apparently, or something got shot down. Yeah, that makes sense. I was thinking, where did all these flames suddenly come from? Four kills, three kills on the Panzerwerfer. The P4 is responding. Well, not P4, B4. And reinforced repair bunker, but the crew is on the fire. Yeah, this guy, he's gonna get it. I don't think he'll be able to uh, complete the bunker in time. There are the Stuggies. Grenade. No, it got delayed. As the one who was about to throw it, he died. More reconnaissance overflight coming in this time from Cold. As he's getting an aerial overview. Just assessing the situation. And fragmentation bomb. This could be a good one. Nice. And a sis gun. Colt with the takedown. However, oh, that bunker there. One more shot and it's dead. But the SU-85 not sticking around to get the last shot in. Too dangerous for it. Oh, needs to exit focus mode. There we go. Though still got Panzerfausted. Double Panzerfaust on the other one. Whew. Uh, Katusha. A little bit here, but... Oh, on retreat. Neat. Did it get... How many kills did it get? That Katusha there. Ah, just one. Seems to be uh, the standard for uh, Soviet artillery in this game. <laughs> one kill per barrage. Doesn't matter if it's infantry or vehicles. Hello. Panther has... Yeah, that dove in deep after uh, these team weapon here got annihilated. Oh, cold is like that's free real estate. Just need to get the VP under their control here. The Axis have lost quite a lot of points, and Soviets they're still handing on to at least half of their VPs. Oh, that's the B4. 
I wonder if it's gunning for the repair bunker or if it actually meant to target here. Hmm. So, rage quit. I'm going to see some other tanks from you other than the Stooks and Panzerwerfers. I just wonder. Fire away. I hear the artillery. It's going in deep. What a disappointment. That was double barrage and barely a scratch the B4. However, the bunker here is uh, pretty much near death. <laughs> Though it's not really what concerns the Axis team. Nope. Their concern is definitely the B4. Issue 85, the can opener standing by. Panther here. Whoa, these Panzerwerfers here. After they have done their barrage, they definitely need to go back. Might even want to uh, do a little shift queue order there to make sure they go back after their barrage. AT gun. Not AT gun, but AT grenade. And what is that? Artillery strike commencing. It was nice knowing your repair bunker. You may have been reinforced, but these shells are gonna hit hard. If they actually hit the bunker, that is. <laughs> One more needed. Uh, the SU-85 can finish it off if it's just, you know, gets one more shot in. Come on, you can do it. Nope, still going for the Stukies. It's frantically trying to get rid of the SU-85 up here. There we go. Colts coming in, trying to help. Getting some Katusha fire and the repair bunker is dead and gone. Its life expectancy wasn't all what it was cracked up to be since it was reinforced, but meh. One more shot is needed and then it's bye bye issue 85. Oh, why is he chasing this vision? Time to go, buddy. Well, we lost something. <laughs> it went down. Hooray. Now we're getting a panther from um, Rage Quit. Vehicles destroyed. And this one is still standing. Was it actually the Raketans? Well, not Raketans, but the Panzerwerfer that took it down. Looking at these craters, it might as well have been. <clears throat> Lots of soft targets here for cold. Huh. <clears throat> Let's assess the VP situation. At the moment, it's a stalemate. But Kommissant is doing his best to recapture the middle. Flag Panzer just casually strolls by. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Panther. Oh, got a reverse. Oh, nice! Cold takes out the katusha there t-34 it's like oh yeah i should probably uh you know respond to something but it have chewed off more than it can buy it <laughs> that's a lot of at and still the t-34 made it we got eyes in the sky for colt but he's falling back now komisan treating one spot there the flag panzer has met its match as the SU-85 is about to take it down, but we got plenty of AT guns here. Oh, is it really going to go down? Maybe the SU-85, KB-1 going in. The AT guns have been decrewed. Flag Panzer just trying to scratch the paint there. They're getting in close, but not within Panzerfaust range. Pack guns have been recruited, but Komi-san disengages without losing any of his tanks. Meanwhile, Rage Quit is back in again, ready to take down another SU-85, and there he is! Spearhead Doctrine's Tiger Tank, doing what it can to bring victory to the fatherland! Woo-hee! Direct hit there from the B4, taking it down to what? Half health? <laughs> not this time around, the Panzerwerfers did not manage to take out, or rather... Yeah, Panzerwerfer. Yeah, not a raketten Yeah. Uh, repair, repair, repair. We got any repair bunkers down here? We do not have to rely on our pioneers. 
to get the repairs in still the axe is getting closer to 100 vps but uh, the the allies almost having lost half their points now sitting pretty over there cole's got uh, the situation under control or so we like to think there's not like there's much opposition on that side of the map here it looks like we are about to uh, see the uh, talk of war face here while we are on uh, crossing in the woods the fight for the middle vp fueled and loaded good to go tiger just needs the repairs done panther is also bad shape Carabas calling in some artillery there. Oh, B4 also joining in. Making it a little difficult for them to get out of the way. There we go. Sky is falling down temporarily. Don't worry, we'll have those clouds back up in the sky in no time. Also need... Yeah, the KV-1 is getting repaired. SU-85. Oh boy. The Stugis are not... The weapon of choice when it comes to uh, dealing with armor. Middle VP, neutral, but Komisan trying to make a move here. He could also utilize smoke, you know, get some smoke in on the middle. But fortunately, that Maxim is not within range. They should have vision now that there's a bird in the sky. Ah, Colt. He's launching his offensive here on this flank. Apparently there are no mines here. One SU-85 and the KV-1 is keeping guard. While also, of course, keeping an eye on the middle. But Caravas making a move. We are losing a Panther. Bounce, however. He is disengaging SU-85. Can it get it? Probably not. I think it's outside of the range. But it is going in deeper. Wants it. Gets it. And the axes are down to 100 VPs. Colt pushing through here while also doing a little bit there. He got the Syscon to turn around, but now it's facing the middle once again. <clears throat> Fuel cache still standing. We haven't seen any caches from uh, the allies, I believe. Yeah. Perhaps a muni cache would have been helpful just to get uh, some more munis for the recon or the off map artillery. Running away. This gun is ready. Oh, we had enough about these uh, birds in the sky. Looking to get that. Pot mounted. Oh, this gun. Ready to deal some damage to the Panther. Maybe one tough customer. Still got plenty of health as it is continuing. It's dive here actually pushing back the pack guns. And here we go. Caravas is making a move onto the Axis base. Just strolling casually by what happened to uh, rage quit he still got his stuckies but they're not really uh, the answer to this here they have of course been doing a great job uh, versus infantry 75 points cold trying to come in here to save the day fortunately the 80 guns are not in a position to help deal with Carabas army tanks there and that was a rather disappointing uh, Panzerwerfer barrage there from both of them that's a lot of kills hey guys guys you left the cis guns uh, oh what a time to go back to base to reinforce ow could have used it there to take out the SU-85. Oh boy. Okay. Um, this guy here not getting... Okay. Well, he'll have to wait till the next round to get some reinforcement. Here we go. Komi-san. 
going in on the flank we got some artillery coming down here on the conscripts they are on negative cover and they are calling the quits heading back to base we've got sector assault artillery well sector artillery rather and the b4 continues to take names while digging graves or craters in this case another katusha for caravas it's about to get online got lots of at guns here can he give chase he's trying to make a move here but i think the t-34 is just fast enough to outrun the uh the pack guns but not this armor here that uh cold he is sending in oh a little bit of poking from the su-85 did the bounce however bird is in the sky for cold and yeah komisan both of them really but all righty then this time around we got the maxim it's dead and gone the su-85 taking loads of damage dead it is the tiger is going in however the pack guns there oh that was nasty what that could have been a plane shut down before going at the tiger but misses <gasps> grand squad almost dead 40 point is all that remains for the axis trying to make a move there on the left but i haven't had the most success and where what are these p what are the pioneers doing what are they doing lost one squad oh what loses one of his uh stugies as well not the best move yeesh yeah the tiger here from colt working on its second promotion going in might be able to catch it up hold fire but why ah, okay a little bit of micro there m5 looks like it will be get out and there we go that mine that was spotted by the pioneers detonates and the tiger is left with damaged engine and it, yeah it's probably going down here yep death by ag grenade you earned all your stars 16 points I think the writing's on the wall. Double cap for the axis. Well, allies. Oh yes, and there we go. They are about to get a triple cap. This could be GG. Komisan with the GG. One last this issue to uh, hold the middle capture. Um, the axis surrenders. Well, that's it for this time, folks. Hope you liked it and um, like and subscribe if you want more. Just like the video if you disliked it and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.